Let's get our custom entity spawning in the world. Let's see how to do that. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be spawning our custom entity into our world. So this is going to be done in the world package, of course. And what we're going to need is a new class in the gen package. So this is going to be the mod entity generation class and the content of this class will be copied over this is of course all available to you in the description below get a repository and individual gist as well so this is a sort of a custom class that i've made i think i've made this back in 116 and then modified it so that it works with 118 and the great thing here is that you can basically call different methods here you know add entity to a specific biome add entities to all biomes except you know, the ones that you're giving in here, and then add entity to all overworld biomes, all nether biomes, and all end biomes. So you can basically, well, call any of those methods, and, you know, with that, you can basically spawn them. You can see there's always a weight associated with this. So the weight there is important, because the weight basically determines, you know, how many of the actual entity are going to spawn based on the weights of others. Ba meaning that if you put something like 500 in, then, you know, it your raccoon or your custom entity is probably going to be the one that is most prevalent in the biomes. However, uh, you know, it's going to also make other entities less prevalent. So keep that in mind. So you I sh you shouldn't put the weight too high up. Like always, of course, the numbers highly suggest playing around with them anyway. All right, so let's call the on entity spawn method then in our mod world events right here. So this is going to be the mod entity generation dot on entity spawn and then passing in the event. Now this, however, is not everything that we need to do because we still need to do one additional thing. And that is going to be in our tutorial mod package inside of the setup event right here, the FML common setup event. We want to call the following. We want to call the spawn placements dot register, then passing in our mod entity types dot raccoon dot get. And then we're going to basically define the spawn, well, spawn placement type. This, in this case, is, of course, going to be on ground. Should make sense, right? So the raccoons should spawn on ground. We also want to define a height map. I'm not 100% sure what the differences are. So I believe that the world surface and world surface WG should spawn them, you know, roughly at the world surface. Uh, but usually most of the different animals have motion blocking, no leaves. So we're going to take this one. And then we have the animal, colon, colon, check animal. This is going to be check animal spawn rules. There you go. And that should be that. We can also middle mouse button click on the spawn placements method or the class rather and take a look at this one right here. So this is going to be the registering of how the vanilla animals spawn. And you can see there's quite a few of them. Parrot, check parrot spawn rules, ocelot. There is, you know, mushroom cows. So as you can see, there are different, well, rules here for different animals. Highly suggest taking a look at those as well if you have, you know, anything that might be flying, for example, right? The gas obviously is going to have different ground rules. Interestingly enough, it's still going to be on ground. That's, I didn't expect that actually, but yeah. So things like, you know, where they have to spawn in water, of course, you got to check those out as well. So keep that in mind as well, and then you should be fine. Now, these two things are actually all of the things that we actually need to add our, you know, custom entity to the world generation. So let's see if it works. All right, fans also back in Minecraft. So let's just uh, teleport away. Let's just locate, you know, maybe a plains biome. I usually like to uh, take a look at plains biomes because they are, you know, usually fairly uh, open. And let's just see. So this is a very interesting plains biome, definitely. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, well, let's just see and fly around a little bit. Uh, we have them spawning in every biome. So in theory, we should find them, I mean, basically anywhere. Now, because the weight is 40, uh, you know, actually, like, get me somewhere else because this is very strange here. 22,000 and then, like, 2,000, something like that. And then we're going to locate the biome again. So let's locate another plains biome. Maybe this is a, you know, a proper plains biome and not, like, a crazy cave that we had. So this makes a little more sense. There you go. And we're actually already getting some sheep, but that's of course not what we want. We want to find some raccoons. So let's just move around and see if we can find some of them. And there they are, naturally spawned raccoons. And you can also see that they're looking at me when I'm actually like, wait a second. Come on, look at me. Look at me. There it is. They're looking at me. Let's go. So they're spawning, you know, I mean, there's two of them that spawned. Uh, you can basically... There's another one, there you go. And even the variants spawning. So that is really freaking awesome. And you can see, you know, a bunch of them spawning. And I mean, that's pretty much how easy it is to add, you know, the custom entity spawn to your game. But as always, of course, all of the code is available to you in the description below. Get a repository and individual gist as well. But that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you'll learn something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one.
I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Oh, yeah.